Hi, Ed Tillett here from Waterway Guide Media. Before we ever leave the dock in our 1965 50-foot classic cruiser Actea, there's a few things that I absolutely have to be sure of. Number one, what is the weather between here and where I'm going? No surprises along the way. I want to know what the weather forecast is. Secondly, what is the distance from here to there exactly so that I can determine my fuel burn rate? And thirdly, are there any navigation alerts along the way that I should be aware of? And what other marinas or service facilities might I find along the way in case I need to duck in for some help or I can't make my destination? For us, there's only one great planning tool and that's waterwayguide.com. Let me show you how it works. In the old days when I sailed to my destinations, I also wanted to make sure that I had a good anchorage for those nights when I wanted to watch the sunset, sit in the cockpit under the stars and let the bay breezes fill the cabin. But I'm cruising a different boat these days. So with all of those requirements in mind, there's really only one resource for me. That's waterwayguide.com where I can log in through my subscription or just log online to waterwayguide.com and get the information that I need to start planning my trip. There's also all the Waterway Guide titles. We produce over 20 different books for the regions across the United States where you may be cruising. But let's talk a little bit about waterwayguide.com, Explore, because that's where I'm doing my research for fuel prices, distance to different locations, marinas, navigation alerts, anchorages, Let's start with weather. There are multiple weather resources and apps out there for you, but at waterwayguide.com, we have weather overlays from either NOAA or Wendy. And all you have to do is drag the map or the chart to the center of the screen and the forecast for that particular location will appear. Then you can do more research later, either through a website or through the mobile apps of your choice. How far I'm going will tell me how much fuel I need to use or how long it's gonna take for me to get there. And as you well know, sometimes in a sailboat, you may be zigzagging based on wind. In a powerboat, you may slow down, you may speed up, you may have to avoid a shoal, go by crab pot buoys, whatever it may be. I like to measure the distance, how far I'm gonna to have to go to a particular point, and then use that number to figure out what my fuel consumption is gonna be for the vessel. With the Waterway Guide measuring tool, you simply touch the points on the map. It gives you different headings or bearings. It also gives you distances. And then at the end of it, you can simply look at it to see if you're hitting those particular marks and the time and distance to those locations. Next comes for me one of the best parts, and that's looking for navigation alerts. I like to know if there are any problems out there, either a local notice to mariners, Marine Safety Information Bulletin from the Coast Guard, something that one of our contributors has provided in terms of watch out for this. I look at the navigation alerts, compile those and figure out if I'm going to have any problems along the way. All I have to do is select the navigation alert from the symbol, open it up, look for the full details associated with that navigation alert, and I will have all the information that I need as I proceed through my route. We have specific criteria for our waterway guide marinas. Those marinas need to accept transient vessels first and foremost. And then dockside depth needs to be a certain minimum, usually two and a half to three feet to accept most vessels. So when you're looking for marinas in waterwayguide.com and in our books, plenty of information. There's also a marina comparison tool, which is pretty interesting. That funnel on the left side of the chart or map, whatever you're looking at at the top, will allow you to compare marinas based on the criteria that you input. So if you need a certain depth, or if you have certain requirements, pet friendly, showers, laundry, perhaps a courtesy car, that information is embedded there. If you find something in a marina that's not accurate, let us know. Simply use the comment or the review button and we'll get that information and update it. By all means, review marinas for others, take a look at what others are saying and compare and contrast as you make your way up and down uh, the regions that you cruise. Another important tool is our bridge and lock listings. Not many locks in the southern part of the United States, but when you start going through the Erie Canal and up to the northern part of the United States, down the Mississippi, lots of locks there. But for us, bridges, especially in Florida and along the east coast of the Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway, having that bridge information in advance is really invaluable. What's the height of the bridge? 
When is it going to open? Is it under construction? You'll also see navigation alerts posted near many of the bridges if there are problems there. But bridge listings are important. We keep them updated and it will give you the information you need. When we go cruising with our son on his 35 foot pursuit, we run up and down the intracoastal waterway and around the Keys. The bridges down there, as you well know, are notorious for opening right on time. Perhaps one of them is down for some problems. Whatever it may be, we want to know the height and the width and when that bridge is going to open, when it's going to close, so that we can plan our trips accordingly. So don't leave the dock without waterwayguide.com, without the Waterway Guide mobile app. You can take a look here on our YouTube channel at all the information that we have inside the app. That's a whole different media platform. But waterwayguide.com is a free service with this basic information in it. Once you subscribe, you have access to a lot of other information. And of course, there's all the Waterway Guide books. So stay safe, stay in touch. We hope to see you out there.